Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to use response cards in your, you know, Amazon Lakes chatbot, which is going to simplify uh, user interaction and going to avoid some typographical or typing error from the user side, right? So what is response card? So let's say we want to ask user, you know, let's say this is related to the flower booking chatbot and we want to ask user what type of flowers would you like to order? So rather than user entering the flowers they want we can give them an option so this is something we call response card where you can see uh, you have some title for that response card there is some image associated with it and you know there are some options that they can select this is what we call a response card so rather than user entering one of this value they can simply click on it right so which going to make the interaction uh, simplified so let's see in our use case where we can use this thing. So we have built our, you know, hotel booking pot and you could see we first ask user location, then the date on which they're going to, you know, come to hotel and then how many nights. And finally, we ask them what type of room they would like to have. And we give them a saying that we have this kind of rule. Now, if user type something different, let's say they type X, Y, Z, what will happen? It's not going to accept because this particular slot is going to only accept one of this thing value so this is not a good user experience so, and then user type something you know one of them and it's going to so we can replace this thing where user types rather we give user option to select one of those choices so this is what we're going to do so if you look at our slots also right so let me see if i show you the slots Okay, so this is our intent and we have a slot types and one of the slot type is a room type and this slot type which is nothing but like a data type kind of thing is going to accept only these three things if you enter something other than that it's not going to accept so we want to make sure so let's see where is our prompt where we ask this room type teacher so this is our room type prompt where we ask user this thing let's go to the advanced option And in the advanced option, scroll down, look at the slot prompts, click on here, elicit information. And this is what the message group we are using. By default, it is a plain message group or a text. You can again go to the more prompt options. And here, just like this is the default message group, which is nothing but the what you see, you can add some more, you know, a different way of uh, taking user input. Let's say we can add a card group here. So when you click on card group, you will see you can have a URL just like what we saw here, right? You can have this image that is that image URL. You can give some title and even you can add some buttons which user can click. So let's copy the same thing here. Right? Let's say we give this title. We can add a couple of buttons which user can click. Okay, let's say we have three options. So let's add these three buttons and what they're going to take. We want to give user option to click one of them. So right, they might, and we can have the other option and see this one, the last one. Okay, so we have some title and the value. The title is something user will see. Value is something when user click on it, this value Lex will got. And Lex needs to get one of these values, right? Which we put it here, slot values. This is what they should get. So you can make this as a capital because this is what user is going to see while selecting. Sorry. And we can capitalize this also. You can preview on the top here. And you could say this is our previous one default and this is what how new things looks like. We can delete this thing and also we can simplify this. Now, since we have given already option, we, we, this is redundant, this part. So let's first get rid of our old message group. And then here also, we don't need this thing because we have already given those options, right? And now let's see how it looks. Yeah, this is how it looks. We can also give an image. So we need to give an image URL. Okay, they are suggesting it should be Amazon S3 object URL. So you can upload uh, your image on Amazon S3 and you can use this. So in my case, I just uploaded one image here in this particular bucket. Let me copy its object URL. This particular bucket is public so that it can, you know, 
axis so let's copy paste this image url here and see whether it reflects yeah you can see that image also reflects here then we can update our prompt then finally we can update our slot I think now we have updated our room type slot. Okay, let's build again because we need to build now bot. We have made changes to intent and our slot. Bot built successfully. So let's test it. Let me want to say like I want to book hotel. And bot should recognize that this is related to hotel and they will keep asking me certain questions like what city will be staying in right so we can put some city name here and then what day do you want to check in now here also rather than typing we should have something like they can select from let's say calendar or something like that but for now let's put something here Okay, we will put some value for this and here you could see the changes that we made now we see this image coming here and it is asking me what type of room would you like to you know have and we can select some one of them and this is the value that likes what is and then finally it is asking me to confirm now here also just like we have used this particular card type we could use another card type here while confirmation and it can have value let's say yes and no rather than i typing it here yes so these are the things we can, you know, use to make user interaction simplified and, you know, which avoid some kind of errors. So you can try uh, such a thing, like try to include this card group wherever it is possible. I hope you found this video useful. I will be adding more videos to this playlist as I learn more about Amazon likes. So please do subscribe. Thank you.